Ranveer, could leaving the EU lead to Scotland breaking away? Well, this has always been the cloud hanging over the whole debate, hasn't it? And look, this is the point of view uh, from Scotland, or from the SNP at least, is that they want to stay in the single market. Of course, we're leaving. We do, we've said we're not going to stay in the single market at all. The SNP seem to feel confident, actually, that last time there were many Europeans who live and work in Scotland in the hospitality industry, just like they do here in other places too, that they voted uh, against independence last time. Time. This time, if there was a second referendum, they may well vote for independence because that then would bring them closer to Europe and separate to the rest of the UK. The opinion polls, one of them at least, shows that it's 50-50, which probably doesn't sound very good on the face of it, but it's better than the result was because the result was 55% decided to remain within the union. So if now that is now 50-50, it gives Nicola Sturgeon a bit more leverage. Her point of view is this, to say to Theresa May, unless you, in that letter when you trigger Brexit, you say, I want you, dear EU, to give Scotland very special negotiations, very special deals, Nicola Sturgeon is threatening to then break up Why should the they UK. get special deals? I mean, you're either part of the UK or you're not. Well, they're devolved, aren't they? So they have a lot more power in themselves and they want to wield that power. But what their special rightly. deal really means in her eyes is the ability to just do whatever they like about the split from yes. uh, Europe. Mm. And I would argue if you're part of the United Kingdom, you're part of this decision, aren't you? And Democratically. The, well, yeah, except if there is a democratic view that the people in Scotland are now 50-50 about wanting independence, mm. how can Westminster then sit happily with itself and say no? 